from the lands of the Anishinaabe to the Atawandaran, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis. The lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped with indigenous history. We acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this territory. We acknowledge with respect the history, spirituality, and culture of the indigenous peoples with whom the Upper Canada Treaties were signed and the territory wherein our church resides and our responsibility as treaty members. We also honor the heritage and gifts of Métis people. May our actions be guided by our commitment to reconciliation. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him. He went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at the table. And a woman in the city, who was a singer, having learned that he was eating in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster jar of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping and begging to bathe his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet and anointing them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw it, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what kind of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus stood up and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Teacher, he replied, speak. A certain creditor had two debtors who owed 500 denarii and one 50. When they could not pay, he canceled the debts for both of them. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he canceled the greater debt. And, the G and Jesus said to him, you have judged rightly. Then turning towards the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has bathed my feet with tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which were many, have been forgiven. Hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgotten loves little. Then he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. But those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves, Who is this? who even forsakes, forgives sins. And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace.
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel, to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. In peace let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us Pray to our God, God have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to our God, God have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer through here their worship and praise, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the health of creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us Pray to our God, God have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us Pray to our God, God have mercy. For all who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, And for those who are in captivity, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For our deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all those living with any kind of mental illness, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the lonely, the hungry, the abused, 
and the homeless, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious God. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest. Rejoicing in the communion of Saint Elizabeth. And with all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you. Through Christ our God, to you, O God. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always.